Hi, I'm Shalair with Mediander's Comedy Spotlight, where I will highlight the funniest people who should have TV shows, in my opinion. And you ask, who are you? Well, I'll tell you. I am And that's why I should highlight the funniest people who should have shows. Hi, this is Shalair here again with another episode of Comedy Spotlight. This week is the all-time best storyteller in the world, Adam Wade. And I'm not playing when I say storyteller, right? Like, the all-time best. Yeah, thank you. Adam is the current title holder of 20 slams at the Moth. And am I correct? Yeah, 20. Thank All you. Right. Yeah, 20 slams. Can you tell the people what slams are? Yeah, so in New York City, uh, the Moth, it's a nonprofit with storytelling. They do slams. So, uh, like, once a week, it's like a poetry slam. There's like a story, uh, a theme, and uh, they pick 10 names out of the hat. Anybody can tell stories. And then they have judges like the Olympics. And then uh, the person at the end of the night uh, that has the most uh, points uh, wins. So, yeah. So it's pretty competitive, and it's like a big deal here in New York City. Yeah. And, and it's growing across like the country, it's yeah. uh, Australia, London. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Big and time. meanwhile, he's the the champ. I, like, I try. I there's try. no one better than him. Uh, I, there's a lot of good stuff. I, uh, I thank don't you. Know. You're you're People. making me blush away. Make come on up. <laughs> come on. The I, I need more makeup. I'm, I'm blushing. Thank you. <laughs> you're, very sweet, you're very sweet. You're very sweet. No, but there have been people, when you ask them, they say, if storytelling breaks through, if it, when and if it breaks through, that you are like the prior of storytelling. The, That's the what Richard Pryor say. story? Yeah, except you don't curse. This is one of the, the best interviews I've ever done in my life. <laughs> It's the third, but it's also the best. So tell us, what are you up to? Yeah, I, I just taped a, uh, a, a comedy storytelling album for uh, Comedy Dynamics, so that'll be coming out um, either November or December, so I'm very, very excited. We, we uh, taped it at the Bell House. We recorded oh, it nice. there. Um, it's just an album, uh, and there was like 375. We turned away like 50 people. There was, it was good. It was like uh, the highlight of my, my life up to this point. Uh, it, was, it, was, it was awesome. See, I thought was, sitting next to me was... It was second. I'm sorry, <laughs> sorry, sorry. The second. This, okay, okay. Adam and I... The Shalera and this, and then that, that's down here, but... Okay. Adam and I actually shared a stage with Adam. Yes, oh. Um, we were in the NBC the, page... Talent, uh, talent, talent showcase. <laughs> we had all, they were, and that was talking about solo crowd. There's a lot of people. I mean, I never. <laughs> if anyone, all, uh, if I'm, anyone has the footage of that, oh, yeah, please that do not ever. Post Who hosted it? it? Al Roker. Al Roker. I had a picture with Al Roker. He was yes. happy. He, was, he, he didn't look very happy in the photo. <laughs> he didn't look like he wanted to he be there. He did not want to be there. Uh, but um, but yeah. yeah, so I can say we that. danced together. We I think, danced. In that. Yeah, yeah, we, we had danced so together. much fun. Yeah, yeah. So when you make it, I'm I'm yeah, gonna yeah. be like I share a stage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Out of way. Yeah, I'll be talking about sharing a stage with Shoya. <laughs> that, that's what can I'm we doing. talk about sure. your stint on you know your stuff on Amy Schumer? Yeah, well, uh, <laughs> which one? <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I've been on. I've been on twice. Excuse I've been me. On, he's been I'm on sorry. so much. I, I play like um, like a sad nerd, like kind of like so. So I went in. And I, 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 I was confident when they said, "Sad, can you come in and, and read lines for like a sad nerd?" And and, and uh, I go, "That I can do." And I was like pumped up. I did the Rocky theme in my head. I went in and. Uh, I said my I said my like sad lines and they're like oh they were they were like wow they're you're a great actor and I'm like oh, I'm I'm just I'm just being me you know? and they're like wow you're brilliant so, <laughs> so I got to say my one line it was nice yeah. oh that's so awesome yeah. congrats on that yeah, yeah. so Adam you set the stage on Facebook and you just draw everyone in and they're the best stories ever yeah, thank you. tell us about Marie well it's, it's this blog now it's uh, Sundays with Marie dot and um, Marie's my landlady she's in her early 80s and uh, I always say she's 80 because I think that's kind and uh, she cooks me meatballs like every Sunday meatballs and gravy and she's just like the sweetest woman and we talk uh, she's just uh, like you, you talk about big breaks. My biggest break was moving into Marie's building. Yeah, she's, she's so good there. to him. Oh. If he mentions, oh, oh, it's hot today, 
he'll leave at his apartment and come back and he'll have a new air conditioner. You know, it's true. It's true. I go, boy, I'd like a new car. She's like, don't, don't push it. She's like, don't push it. Yeah. There's a fan. But, so uh, everyone loves Marie. Oh, and so uh, we were encouraging you to like, Put these stories somewhere. Yeah, it's yeah. so great. And it's amazing because, you know, you put stuff on Facebook and you get one or two likes. And then, I, like, you know, I mean, this woman would be cooking for me. And she's just so sweet. So I would just post that photo. I got, like, 200. I'd be like, I'm working hard. And then I just post about my landlady and I get 300 likes. So I like to do this thing called five things. Okay, sure, <laughs> sure, sure. All right, so I is know. This, this isn't like Jerry Springer, a woman, like, I went out with when I was... And gonna show up. <laughs> no, if I she's mean, here, I'm sorry. I, I threw up on you. We can't but afford you, her. You're, 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 you're a beautiful girl. I want to know what are your five favorite barbecue places in New York City. Five. All right. Very good. Number one, Brother Jimmy's, ah. uh, especially in Murray Hill. Is it Murray Hill? Murray Hill. It's, a, it's a great place. I, the Jeremy is the manager. <laughs> He's a good Williams. man. Yeah, Jeremy Williams. You, you go in there, you, you feel like you're at home. Thank you, Jeremy. Um, two Virgils. I mean Virgils. I, I like it. Uh, it's always it all it's it, it's always good, you yeah. know. Um, hush puppies. Hush puppies with, with the with the maple butter. I like mm. that. And then the biscuits, you could put a big. It's like five thousand calories, but if you take a biscuit and you take the uh, maple butter, you make a sandwich. Oh, man. Uh, number three, I don't know. Uh, number three, is it like blue smoke? That's good. It's like oh, I, I can't smoke. afford it. That's yeah. I go every seven years. <laughs> I can't afford it. It's good, but I mean that's why it's good. I just can't. I mean, I, yeah. I mean, I, I got a. Uh, you got to pay for the jazz that comes. Yeah, through. yeah, the jazz. It's beautiful. It's a great place for a date. So if there's a very rich woman that wants to take me there, let's go. I'll go. I'll be happy to go. I'll pay one fourth of the tip. <laughs> uh, I think that you are great. I think that you tell the best stories there are. Uh, and where can people? Oh, because Adam also teaches storytelling. Yeah, yeah. He's that good that he teaches it. So. It's the best. It's one of the best things I've done. I, I teach at the Magnet Theater, um, and, and like uh, it, I, I have like three classes going now, and they're six week classes, and then we have like a class show. Uh, but it, it's just like there's like no jerks take these classes. Right. Like I mean it. Like I'm just very very lucky, and, and I am like I am I'm personable, but I'm shy. So taking these classes, I get to meet so many different people from from everywhere. They're just such diverse classes and they're just fun. It's if you're scared of public speaking or you're working on stories, if you're a writer or if you're a business person, we've had people from like the UN, from like Wall Street, they can't get up in front of people. It's like Toastmasters but from like the heart. You just talk, you don't have to say cheers, you just say this is me and this is who I am and this is my story. It, it, it's, 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 it's awesome. Thank you so much. This has been wonderful, Shalair. <laughs> you're awesome. Thank you so much for stopping by and again you can find Adam Wade on Tumblr. Yep. And then AdamWade.com. I, I work really hard on that site. <laughs> My mom comes on it, so it's good. So, she visits. So give him a click. All right. Thank you so much, Adam. Sure, you are best. so yeah, awesome. You. The nicest guy around. <laughs>